Pancake, everyone! Today we will touch upon an unusual and extremely interesting topic for discussion – meteorites. They are different. We will touch on the largest ones and look into the future. Let's delve into this event and learn a little more for ourselves. Let's get started. On the morning of February 15, 2013, a blinding flash of fire split the sky over the Urals. Residents of several regions saw it and residents of Chelyabinsk also felt it. They were hit by such a shockwave that almost the entire city was left without windows. On the same day, it became clear. A meteorite exploded in the sky in the southern Urals. The power of the explosion was 450 kilotons, according to NASA. It's like 20 Hiroshima. And even now, 10 years later, scientists don't know everything about that event. The Chelyabinsk meteorite is unique. From the inside, it is covered with tiny cracks, which scientists haven't seen on any other meteorite. They caused the explosion. The meteorite exploded in the sky like a fragmentation grenade. But where did these cracks come from? To find out, scientists took one of the fragments, carved a ball with a diameter of 4 cm out of it and began to affect it with shock waves. For the experiment, we sacrificed a good meteorite sample says Viktor Grokovsky, a researcher of the Chelyabinsk meteorite, professor of the Ural Federal University. It turned out that the meteorite was covered with cracks as a result of the impact. From the same impact, it was thrown out of the asteroid belt. And then it flew towards Chelyabinsk. Scientists couldn't predict its approach. They observed large objects with a diameter of more than 140 meters. About 30,000 of them fly past the Earth. And for such cases as Chelyabinsk, the size of 19 meters, and not to keep track, there are too many of them. New meteorites? Billions of people on Earth live solving everyday problems, worry about political events and coronavirus infection, fall in love, design houses, stage plays, go sailing on the ocean, teach children to read and write, they do shopping and do thousands of other things. Meanwhile, a rock the size of three football fields is rushing towards our planet from the depth of space at a speed of 27 km per second. And very soon, in 2029, this asteroid will approach a critically small distance. So small that the asteroid, in addition to its official name, Apophis, was also given the nickname Killer of the Earth. What is known about Apophis? This asteroid was discovered by experts at the Kitt Peak Observatory in Arizona in 2004. Initially, the asteroid received the inexpensive name 2004 MN4. However, when scientists discovered that the asteroid's flight path was such that it could well lead it to collide with our planet, the celestial body acquired a proper name. The celestial body was named Apophis in honor of the ancient Egyptian monster deity Apop. The Greeks pronounced Apophis, a terrible serpent seeking to destroy the sun and all living things. Apophis is a stone block of irregular shape. The asteroid's diameter is slightly less than 400 meters, and astronomers estimate its weight at about 27 million tons. However, this is approximate data, since it is not completely clear what rocks the asteroid consists of. Astronomers know about 4 million asteroids of this type in the solar system. Apophis would have remained one of many inconspicuous celestial bodies with the name of letters and numbers, if not for its orbit. It crosses the Earth. Calculations have shown that, in the near future, this giant rock will be repeatedly fly very close to the Earth. This should happen in April 2029, and then in 2036, and then in 2068. Initially, astronomers considered that the probability of a collision of Apophis with the Earth is 3%. This is a very high level of danger. However, new observations and calculations have shown that the probability of a celestial wanderer hitting our planet is approaching one millionth. This is encouraging. Nevertheless, it's too early to rejoice. Experts from the USA, Italy and Russia have carried out joint calculations, came to the conclusion that Apophis will fly between the Earth and the Moon at a distance of 38,000 kilometers from our planet. 
This is so close that an asteroid can easily demolish several geostationary satellites. What happens if an asteroid collides with the Earth? And before we continue, let's take a break. Take a break from so much information. While you're resting, put a like and since you are there, subscribe to the channel. It will greatly help in the development of the channel. Let's continue. Thus, as experts say, there is a one in a million chance that Apophis will still crash into our old Earth in one of its approaches. Astronomers have even calculated the exact nearest date when this may happen. Oddly enough, but this is April 13, 2036, Friday. What will happen in this case? In general, nothing good. Everyone knows how much trouble the Tunguska meteorite has caused. And its size, according to scientists, was only 75 meters. If a block with a diameter of 400 meters collapses to the ground, the consequences can be many times more severe. The fall of a celestial body of this size will release 500 megatons of energy. For comparison, the Tunguska meteorites caused an explosion of about 40 megatons. The energy of the explosion of the thermonuclear bomb AN-602, known as the Tsar bomb, was 57 megatons in TNT equivalent. The explosion of the bomb over Hiroshima was equal to 18 kilotons. If Apophis falls to the ground, then all living things will be destroyed at the place of the fall. A crater larger than 8 kilometers will appear. The crash site will become the epicenter of an earthquake of at least 6.5 points of the Richter scale. Tons of dust and rubble will rise into the sky. Many experts believe that these may cause a sharp cooling on a planetary scale. Scientists consider a 50-kilometer-wide strip covering the south of Russia, Siberia, the Pacific Ocean, Central America, and part of the Atlantic to be the place of a possible fall of Apophis. Major cities such as Managua, San Jose, and Caracas are in particular danger because they are located almost exactly on this strip. However, there is a possibility that the asteroid will fall into the ocean thousands of kilometers from the west coast of the American continent. If the catastrophe develops according to this scenario, then troubles cannot be avoided either. A funnel is formed in the water with a depth and width of at least 10 kilometers. This will cause a giant tsunami. Waves up to 20 meters high will hit the shore. All living things 300 kilometers from the coast will be washed into the ocean, Towns and cities will be destroyed. It is hardly necessary to talk about the death of human civilization as a whole. But in any other disaster scenarios, it doesn't matter whether Apophis falls on land or on water, it will not be possible to avoid huge casualties and destruction. I must say, the history of the Earth knows an example of a catastrophic fall of a celestial body that caused mass extinction. We are talking about an asteroid called Chicxulub. It collapsed on the Yucatan Peninsula 65 million years ago. It is with this the scientists associate the disappearance of dinosaurs. What to do? As already mentioned, the probability of Apophis falling to Earth is extremely small. Nevertheless, since the discovery of the asteroid in 2004 and the awareness of the danger it poses, scientists have been thinking through a variety of ways to get rid of this danger. The most unreasonable option is the one that was once proposed in the movie Armageddon, to blow up an asteroid with a powerful bomb. In this case, instead of one large asteroid, several dozen or even hundreds smaller ones will fall to Earth and it is still unknown what is scarier. The most exotic of the proposed methods spray paint on the asteroid, so that the stone block changes color. In this case, since the Apophis will reflect light differently, the light pressure on it will also change, which is the cause of rotation. The asteroid's trajectory will change. However, skeptics do not support this project, since the celestial body has an extremely irregular shape which will not allow calculating the trajectory of its movement in the event of a change in light pressure. Efforts to color the asteroid may prove pointless. 
There are ideas of using laser beams or gravity tractors that will push Apophis out of its orbit. But the problem is that when implementing any of the projects proposed for today, it will be impossible to accurately calculate the result. For this reason, scientists prefer to observe Apophis for the time being, especially since very soon there will be great opportunity for this, it will pass as close to the Earth as possible. Russian scientists from the Laboratory of Mathematical Modeling of Methods of Protection Against Asteroid Comet Danger, created at the Moscow Institute of Electronics and Mathematics, believe that it would be most reasonable to install a radio beacon on Apophis, which would allow tracking the location of the celestial wonder at every moment, determining its speed and other parameters, and act on the basis of the data received. Other asteroids In January 2022, according to the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, we learned that two potentially dangerous asteroids were approaching the Earth. The first of them, 2013 YD-48, is the size of Big Bang. It has a width of about 1 of 4 meters and will pass by the planet on January 11, at a distance of about 5.6 million kilometers. The second one, 7482 YD-48, is twice the size of the American Empire State Building skyscraper. It will approach the Earth at a distance of 0.013 astronomical units on January 18. This, according to the NASA Near Earth Object Research Center, is considered a close approach. In addition, in December, NASA warned about the asteroid 4660 Nereus, the size of the Eiffel Tower, was flying to Earth. The asteroid was discovered in 1982. Scientists explained that it doesn't pose a threat to the planet. At a speed of about 23,000 km per hour, the cosmic body will pass at a considerable distance from the Earth. Experts didn't specify exactly what day the asteroid will fly past the Earth. The second is the asteroid Bannu. Astronomers discovered this celestial body back in 1999. Even then, the trajectory of its movement alarmed scientists. Bannu has been closely watched for several years. In 2016, the American Space Agency even sent an Osiris-Rex spacecraft to the asteroid. The probe photographed the asteroid from all sides and then get close to it and took soil samples. But they will be delivered to Earth only in 2023, said Joseph Nod, a researcher at NASA's Bannu asteroid mission. However, the data already received from Osiris-Rex is enough to understand that a huge cosmic body and our planet are steadily approaching. If an asteroid crashes into the Earth, a monstrous explosion will occur, approximately 1,150 megatons in TNT equivalent, 20 times more than the most powerful nuclear bomb that mankind has invented. Do you think these meteorites really threaten the Earth? Do you think that all the worries are exaggerated? Write your thoughts in the comments. But in the meantime, if you are still here, thank you for watching the video. We remind you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This will be the best gratitude for the work done. In the meantime, there was still a pancake with you. Good mood and a fair wind to everyone. See you soon.